Hey, what's up guys? It's your friend, Fast Eddie. And today I just want to do a quick review of this big horn quarter inch dowling jig thing. Uh, I've had one of these before, but the one that I got from Rockler was nice. Now, unfortunately, this thing sucks. Nothing lines up correctly. I mean, it's just a total headache. You know, I've done this countless times here, trying to make sure, you know, it wasn't my fault. And uh, I keep drilling holes and drilling holes, going back over it, you know what I mean, doing it from left to right, right to left, but nothing lines up, nothing works. I'll show you how bad off it is here. Give a little dowels in there. The holing, I mean, the uh, drill bit size is nice. Uh, I'm gonna hammer there, bud. But, that's it. Everything else about this thing sucks. Nothing is even close to lining up. See? Already. Like I said, I, I've used other dowling jigs before, so, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. It just, nothing ever lines up. Look at these holes. Look how far off they are. I mean, not even close to lining up. And that's using, you know, the lines in their jig. It, it just sucks. It really sucks. That's about the furthest one away I've got. Let me see the pliers right there. Even when it is close, and I can get the holes to line up, then the board doesn't line up. Yeah, cut! <laughs> then let's try it and shove the shove it in the holes here. <laughs> Which way was it that was? Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, so we're kind of lined up there, but now look at that. I mean, that, that is totally unacceptable. I mean, that, that's a lot of work to shave all that down by hand if I wanted to hand plane this on both sides, top and bottom. No way, I'm not doing that. Look, that, that's crazy. Like for when I build screen doors and coffee tables and stuff, I mean, that's just totally, totally unacceptable. I mean, not only is it off here, you, you can see obviously, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up very well, but, well, there you go, right there. Now, obviously, those were <laughs> right on the money when I started before the uh, the jig. So, you know, of course, they're using the level and square and all that good stuff and got it perfect. And then you start drilling, and that's what happens when you use the actual jig. So I was figuring, man, i got to be doing something wrong. This can't be that far off. I mean... That, that's pretty bad. Look at that. Like I said, man, if you had to do that all the way around on a project, nothing would line up, nothing would fit. Just unacceptable. Not going to work. So I was think, thinking, all right, is it really me or what? What's going on here? No, it's this. And I will show you why. Hopefully the camera picks it up. One side is nice and completely flat to the wood. Like I said, hopefully I'm going to pick it up. See how nice and flat that is? Nothing's moving. No space. No gap. But, now when you flip it over this side, you can see the gap. I'll do it this way. When I set it down like this, hear that rocking motion? It doesn't sit flat. And you can't adjust these either. They're like riveted in. Even if you could take those out, you know, you're still not going to get it perfect. But now on this side, there's no rocking. It's sitting perfect. So I guess it was just a bad cut on the plexiglass or whatever this crap is. But like I said, on this side, you know, it's perfect. Then you flip it over on this side, and it rocks like crazy. So that's what the problem is. So even when you line everything up perfect, you go through all that, you set up the whole door thinking, you know, I'm just gonna uh, dowel it and make a nice joint and whatever. No, this thing sucks. Like I said, it's from Bighorn. I got it off of Amazon. I guess this is what I get for buying the $15 one instead of buying the Rockler one again. The Rockler one, I believe, is 30 bucks or something. Basically double the price, but it's definitely worth it. Um, so, like I said, I guess I got a new bit for $15 because this is useless. I don't know if I'm gonna send it back or what. And you know me, guys, I hate giving bad reviews on stuff. I really do. I wanna show you guys a nice product that I trust and that I use, but you know. This thing's just garbage. It's got a decent collar and a decent bit on it. No brad point or anything like that either, but I mean, I guess you don't really need it with a dowling jig, but. So this is what you get. It comes in this little baggie, you know, and 
obviously the jig and the drill bit and the collar but you know w what good is it if it doesn't work didn't mean to rant on and sound like a jerk or anything and you know if these guys watching this i'm sorry to give this a bad review but man it sucks you got to do some better uh, uh product uh inspection here guys because yeah not gonna work especially for workers like me you know i got a pretty tight schedule here and you know when i buy the wood i'm ready to go man and then you get a crappy product and it throws a wrench into everything but yeah so this is just me big thumbs down for the big horn dowling jeep thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time